I want to call your attention first to Genesis. Genesis chapter 3. We're going to be looking at verse 15. And as soon as we leave Genesis chapter 3, we're going to Matthew chapter 4. As soon as we leave Matthew chapter 4, we're going to Luke 4. Because we need to get this scriptures here and we'll be on our way. Genesis 3 and 15. Are you there? Genesis 3 and 15. Now for contextual reading, we'll just back up one verse here, verse 14. It simply says, The Lord God said unto the servant, Because you have done this, you are cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon your belly shall you go, and thus shall you eat all the days of your what? life. Verse 15 it says, and I will put enmity or animosity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his head. Alright, go into Matthew chapter 4. I want you to write that down in your notes you are it. Matthew chapter 4 when you get there, say, I'm there. I'm there. Well, some of y'all are fans. Y'all well, got the computers, don't you? <laughs> Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, simply says this. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Wow. And when he had fasted, how many days? Forty days, that's a long time. And for the night, he was afterward hungry. He should be hungry, yes. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If you be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, Jerusalem, set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If you be the Son of God, cast yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest at any time you dash your foot against the stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all of the what? Yeah. The kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things will I give you if you will fall down and do what? Yeah. Worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him and behold who? Angels came to him, or came and ministered unto him, him being Jesus. One more place and we're there. Luke chapter 4. Just bear with us. It's very important that we grab these scriptures. Luke chapter 4. The 14th verse. Luke 4, 14. Are you there? And Jesus returned in the what? Power. Somebody say power. power. Power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region around the bow. You can be seated for you that are standing. Let's pray and go on into the word of God. Father God, we come to you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you this day. We bless and praise you, God, that you've given us this opportunity to share. God, now we ask that you will speak to us, your people, the words of the living God. Grow and be all that you call us to be. Season my speech with grace. Give me the tongue of the learned wisdom to speak to your people. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. And amen. amen. Now do this one thing for me before we get to the word of God. Thank God for the ushers today. Amen. Come on, 